welcome to our ninth writing prompt. And what I want to focus on today is change, and specifically how change can relate to us and how it can relate to our characters. So we've spent the last several writing prompts focusing on character development and establishing who our characters are, and then putting those characters into positions that will change them through conflict and other events such as that. But we haven't actually focused so much on the change itself. So what are some of the different ways that we change in our own lives? What are some of the different ways that changes occur through our own lives? Are these good changes? Are these bad changes? Are these changes that we want to happen? Changes that we don't want to happen? And how does this change us? Who were we before and who are we now? And what about these events that have happened throughout our lives have changed us into the person that we are now? The way that I kind of like to approach change, at least for the purposes of this prompt, is in two distinct ways. And I think change is influenced on us through two distinct ways. And that is gradual change and dramatic change. So with gradual change, I think that that's a little bit more subtle. And it happens to us in ways that maybe we don't fully realize or anticipate, but it's happening to every single one of us all the time. And a good example I'll give of this is our musical taste the music that we love listening to. So let's say in this example that a friend of yours comes up and introduces you to a new artist, to a new band, and says, hey, I really like this band, you should check them out. And so you check them out and it turns out, wow, these bands are great. You know, like you really love them and you really love their music, so you now you listen to them all the time. But you didn't just stop listening to all of the music that you were listening to before, did you? Typically not, right? Like, you just listen to this artist now, too. Maybe a little bit more since you just found out about them, but you still listen to the other music as well, in the mix of that. But let's play this out a little bit more. Let's say another friend down the line gives you another band to check out, and then another friend later on gives you another band to check out, and you like all of these different bands that are coming your way. And, you know, maybe a couple of them you don't like and you don't listen to, but over time, you've slowly started changing your music interest because you've introduced all of these new bands, all of these new artists, all of this new music. And maybe one day you realize all of the old music that you listened to before, you don't really listen to anymore. And that's not because you don't like it or it's bad or anything like that. Your musical interests have just changed because you've changed. Maybe the people that you're around have changed and the, you know, the culture around you has changed, the environment around you has changed. But all of this has happened gradually. It's happened over time, slowly. And now you listen to this entirely new musical palette, but it didn't happen overnight. It happened over time. Of course, the flip side of this then is dramatic change. And this can happen in a huge variety of different ways. A lot of people sort of equate dramatic change with sort of traumatic events that happen in your life that really can change who a person is. You know, the death of a loved one in your family, a breakup, or, you know, the ending of a friendship that maybe was a little bit toxic or problematic. And, you know, maybe other unfortunate traumatic circumstances that can happen to anybody. But it doesn't necessarily have to be always negative like that. It can be positive. It can be both positive and negative, but it's just a dramatic change that fundamentally changes who you are in a really short time span because of an event that's happened to you. A good example I like to give of this one is I had this friend in high school who weren't really sure of what they were going to do after they graduated. And they were getting kind of worried as they got closer to graduation because, you know, everybody else had kind of figured it out. You know, they were maybe going to go to college or they had a job already kind of lined up or all these different things. But my friend wasn't really sure what they were going to do. And so one day they were walking home from school and down the street from their house did this little like mechanic shop. And the mechanic that day happened to be working on this older muscle car. I believe it was a Dodge Challenger of some kind. And my friend was just blown away by how cool the car looked. And they had kind of had an interest in cars before, but really only from, you know, a visual standpoint. Like, they liked the Fast and Furious movies, and they played with cars when they were like a little kid, but they hadn't really thought of it beyond that. But this day, 
they happened to be, you know, kind of stopping and looking at the car, and the mechanic noticed that they were watching them, and asked my friend, they were like, hey, you want to come and, you know, watch me work on this, and maybe I can give you a few tips, and my friend was like, of course, sure, that sounds fun, and they stuck around, and over the next few hours, the mechanic sort of showed them, you know, basic tips and basic little tricks on how to work on a car that that was really you know minor and fundamental but was just enough to get their interest going and they realized that night over you know the time that they had spent with the mechanic working on the car and stuff that they learned these new things and they were excited about learning these new things and they were excited about all the different things they could learn they actually found themselves really fascinated by the different ways that a car worked and they didn't think that they would be that fascinated by it. That was an example of dramatic change because after we graduated high school, they went on to then become a mechanic. And in that moment alone, they have fundamentally been changed because they have been introduced to something that they had no idea was even an option available to them. And that's just one idea of dramatic change. So, how do we approach this in our own stories? And how do we approach this in our own characters? Well, I think that change is important in storytelling because throughout the event of the story, you want the character to be impacted by the event somehow, right? Or otherwise, why am I reading the story? Why do I care about what's happening to the character if they don't even impact about what's happening to them, right? So that leads us into our writing prompt for this week. And this is a bit of a two-parter. While normally I would, you know, sort of do an either-or of a two-parter, I would encourage you to do both versions of this this time around because I think that both sides can contribute to good writing. And so the first part of this writing prompt that I want to detail is think about change in your own life and think about the way that you've changed throughout your own life. And then if you can, think about a really significant moment that maybe caused a dramatic change within you a really sort of turning point of sorts that changed who you are on a fundamental level. This can be either positive or negative, but it should be something that really has impacted you and you really carry into your life moving forward. The second part of that is after you've done that turning point of your own, try to imagine a character, maybe even a character that you've already written about, and imagine a turning point in their life a change that could have affected them really dramatically and could have fundamentally changed who they were as a person and morphed them into the person that they are now. So with that, have fun writing. I encourage you to take a few risks on this one, you know, try a few different things, see what happens, see what sticks. And as always, I encourage you to have fun and I encourage you to be creative. So have a good few weeks and I'll see you in the next one.